Today we're here, uh, I want to talk about this cute little tool I got here. This is a IR uh, thermometer, or thermistor. It says thermometer on it, I guess. But basically, it uh, tells you the temperature of things. I got this, believe it or not, at uh, Lowe's for like 15 bucks. But I've seen it for like 20 And they are very handy. Uh, on this car, their favorite little BMW, the brakes, something's going on with the brakes anyway. And with this little thing, it's pretty neat. I can, you can... I can put a little red dot out there. I can put it right on the disc itself. You can see it's running 200 and 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Right? So, that's pretty interesting. So now what you can do, you can do a comparison. And I'm not saying it's exactly 300 degrees Fahrenheit. These work off of emissivity, blah, blah, blah. But now I put it on the other side, and I can see them at 120 degrees. Yeah, well, maybe 150. I don't know. All depends how close you are. But, uh... You'll get an idea of what's going on. There's some when you hit the brakes with the car, uh, it's the front's jumping around a little bit. Uh, the back seems to be okay, but uh, we'll check the brake temperature here too. It's about 100. And I've had the car sitting for five minutes. It would have been a lot more exciting video if I would have just, uh, you know, got it when I was smoking hot. But it's not. And again, this is about 100. Also, maybe you can see that. But uh, this is one of these little things you look at in a store, and I've seen them at Harbor Freight. Like I said, I got this one at Lowe's. On, it was on a get rid of rack, uh, and I've seen them at uh, Sam's Club, believe it or not, for like 20 bucks. But they are handy. You can get in there, and I've used these to help debug wheel bearings too. If you got decent brakes, you know you can, you know the brakes are working okay, uh, and you can sort of get an idea, you know, do the tub temperature and maybe get an idea for which wheel bearing or if a wheel bearing is going bad by temperature. So, again, neat little uh, neat little tool. Uh, use it every once in a while. You know, one of those things when you need it, boy, it uh, works pretty slick. So I'll tear the front end of this car apart, uh, the front wheel here, and uh, take a look at it. My guess is uh, caliper sticking. Probably have a good new caliper, but uh, that's just a guess right now. I'll tear it apart and take a look. So maybe I'll uh, add a couple more clips if I once I figure out what's going on. Hope you hope you like this stuff. It's always neat to see applications of uh, tools you can you can buy. Okay, so I pulled the caliper off the car, and believe it or not, the caliper is stuck. So it's probably not stuck where the car won't move. But what I do is I get a clamp. This is a can't twist clamp, but you can get a C clamp or whatever. And I got a block here. And uh, anytime you do brakes, you got to force the, the piston back in. And right now, this is very hard to force the piston in. So I'm pretty sure that this is a roach caliper. I mean, the car has 200,000 miles on it, so the caliper isn't a big deal realist realistically. And I think they're like a $40 item in advance. So looks like I'm going to advance. So that's a pretty interesting thing. Like I say, I show you the. The temperature gauge, uh, you know, that you can see one side's a lot hotter than the other because uh, you don't know what the heck is going on. So this sort of pinpointed it to this side. Then when I picked the car up, the tire didn't spin very easily. Then when I took the, you know, then couldn't move the rotor by hand either. Then again, when I got the, the caliper off, you know, it's still attached to the hose, but uh, I can't get the piston to press very easily. So anyway, off I go to get some parts. Hope you enjoyed this. Well, I'll show maybe another clip or two, but uh, hope you're enjoying the video.